Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be discussing the background defense. It's this type of position where your opponent is about to promote a spawn, but your king is in front of it, which is rather important. In the Lucina position, uh, which was discussed in the last video, um, the opponent had, or we actually, had a pawn that was about to promote and the king was uh, in front of it and uh, we were trying to convert that position. But this time in this video we're actually trying to draw a um, similar position. If the pawn is on the 7th rank, then it's very often lost already. Um, so now the pawn is a bit further back and um, the king is in front of it, which is rather important. And the idea for black here is to play g6 basically, go king h6 and then uh, checkmate us or drive the king away to go b2, b1 and promote the pawn. The problem is that if your opponent goes b3 immediately, there's no shelter anymore for the king on b3. So now we can start checking and the, no, the king has nowhere to hide. Um, you can keep on checking and once the king goes to the default, for example, you can go king b2 and it's very easy. Um, so b3 is not the way to go. Uh, another move might be king b3 immediately, but the problem is now that we check from the side instead of the back and there's not really a way to make progress. Um, if black goes back, it's the same position after rook g7. And if he goes king c4, you can just keep on checking from the side and eventually needs to go to a4 anyway and we get the same position again. So king b3 and b3 are not great tries, but uh, black can mix it up a little bit with king a3. And now we finally get to the back rank defense. Um, because the problem here is that if white checks from the back, then after king b3 we have no more checks and rook h1 is coming in, which is not really what we would like to allow. Um, so we cannot check from the back. Uh, we can try checking from the sides, but after b3 we still don't have a check. Here we would rather have the rook on g7 and then start checking, but that's not really possible as our opponent is threatening many one. So it doesn't actually matter uh, whether we include the check first, um, but whenever your opponent has an A, B, G or H pawn, you can go for the back rank defense. So this defense that we are talking about in this video, we are only uh, are using it in this type of position when your opponent has such a pawn. And the back rank defense, as it's already saying in the name, uh, it's just going rook g1, just ba basically putting your rook on the back rank um, and there's just no way to make progress actually for your opponent. As I said, you could also first include the check and then go to g1. As long as you just keep on waiting in this position, it's a, it's a simple draw. Um, your opponent will go rook h2, for example, and you just keep on waiting on the back rank. And whenever your opponent pushes b2, then you can check from the side. Um, you can also put the rook on a6, for uh, h3, sorry, uh, for example. But if you just keep on waiting, um, there's literally no way to make progress for your opponent. If he tries king b3, for example, tries to go rook h8, rook a8, rook a1, we can simply check from the sides and pick up the pawn on the next move. So um, b2 is not really a good try. Another try might be rook b2 check. And with the king of b1, it's actually covering the b2 and a2 squares, which is rather important. Um, if the king wouldn't be covering those squares, then uh, black could enter. So after rook b2, we need to keep on covering those squares. And the way to do this is black going king a1. If we go king c1, then um, the opponent can play king e2, followed by rook b1 check, pushing the pawn, and now the pawn is going to promote. So we need to keep on protecting these two squares. And then after rook a2, we go back and... There's still, again, no way to make progress because whenever the opponent plays b2, you can just go rook f3 check and not only pick up the pawn, but in this situation, we can even pick up the rook and win the game. But it's just a thump of rule. Whenever the pawn moves to the basically seventh rank or second rank, you can check from the side. So there's no way to make progress in this position once we put the rook on the back rank, and that's a very simple defense. Um, let's have a look at the a or h pawn. What needs to be said is that the B and G pawn are exactly the same pawns because uh, the chessboard is symmetrical and the same is for the A and H pawn. So we don't really need to look at G or H because the A and B pawn are the same. Um, and here um, it's black to move um, and if he wants to run or avoid the checks from the side, 
um, you need to go, let's say, rook h3, we check, and now he goes king d3, and we have no checks anymore. Um, but again, we can just go for the back rank defense, and there's simply no way to make progress, so black can push the pawn, uh, keep on waiting, um, and really no way to make progress, even if rook h2 just drag from the side again, and there's no um, hiding from it. Um, so if the opponent goes a2 instead, king a1, there's still again no make no way to make progress and here you can even go for some still matrix let's say your opponent goes rook d3 rook f3 check is a sneaky way to make a draw because this is still made um needs to be said though that you can just keep on waiting and there's again no way to make progress so this was the background defense you can apply this to the a b g or h pawn it's a very simple defense but in this one you need to know there's there's not really a better way to defend these positions um I hope you liked the video and I hope to see you in the next one.